My friend asked me how to do this um, fresh fish soup, so I decided to make a video. So, number one advice is make sure you clean the fish. You need to thoroughly, I don't know how much clearer I can be, but make sure your fish is cleaned. First, um, clean the outside of the fish, remove all the assets and all. But the most important part is really the inside as it shows in here. Uh, we need to get rid of all that and the blood behind um, that cavity. So I cut my fish in three. Um, sometimes I just use the whole thing. It's up to you what you want to do. So I use lemon to clean out all the blood. I don't know if you can see on that video. I hope it's clear now. Um, if you're frying your fish, that you can get away with it. But if you're trying to make fresh fish soup, please, I beg you, make sure you clean out all the blood. Rinse out all the blood and um, dirt from your fish before you season it. That's very important. I hope I sound tired in the video because I'm always tired. I work long hours and... Uh, Alright, season your fish um, accordingly. I will have the ingredient listed in the description. Just stop by. You want to make sure that all the part of the fish are covered before you put it in the fridge. I will say for at least four hours. Because you want that fish to soak up the seasoning and um, smell good. When you get this done, you get 75% of the job done when it comes to fresh fish soup. You heat up some oil and add all the diced onions. I use a red onion. I don't know. I'm just in love with them lately. They, they have this sweet taste. Um, add some tomato paste. Some diced tomato. I used the one from Stop and Shop and it was like a little bit spicy. It was awesome. And some fresh tomato puree. Um, make sure. Add some baking soda um, to take care of the acidity of the sauce. And then add the fish. You want to make sure that the fish is covered by the tomato sauce. I don't want to add water because once you cover the sauce and you let it simmer, um, the vapor gives you more water. But if you feel like you need a little bit more water, I would say add about half a cup of water. And make sure you add some salt. In cube to adjust the taste. Um, here I added some pepper. It's up to you if you want a spicy sauce or not. And let it cook down. It's a really simple recipe as long as you clean your fish right. 